Hello and welcome to this story about special. I'm Shubani Gharat. Today I am in conversation with Mark Reed, Chief Executive Officer, WPP, world's largest agency group and holding company. The last time we spoke, it was around the time when the world got the taste of its first ever lockdown. So much has changed ever since. So here we are catching up after a gap of two years, several lockdowns, many stages of pandemic and ongoing war, several technological and geopolitical changes later. But there is so much to look forward to as well. The new year and the upcoming FIFA Football World Cup. Welcome to CNBC TV 18, Mark. Pleased to have you on the show again. It's great to see you, Shabani. Thanks for having me on. Hello, uh, everybody. And as you described that, I've been exhausted just listening to all the things um, going on in the world, the things that we, you know, we, our clients, our, our people are having to deal with. But I think you're right. There's a lot also to be positive about in the world today. Yes, indeed. And interesting times, uh, Mark. Uh, how have you been? First of all, let me start this conversation by asking you that. And how has WPP been through the, these uh, course of events and, uh, you know, through all of these up and ups and downs? You know, in a, in a funny way, look, there have been their challenges and as a company we face them, you know, certainly our, our people have and uh, and we all have. But actually, I think that WPP in many ways has come out of the pandemic and the crisis in a, in a stronger position. I think clients value what we do perhaps more than they did before. I think that many of the things we've had to deal with have brought the company together in a way. I mean, you know, we had, we've had, you know, honestly, a terrible time uh, in India with COVID, as I know that the country did overall, but the way that our people, uh, that Srini, our country manager, led the business and the way our people responded and helped each other, I think has been uh, extremely powerful. I think clients, uh, the digital transition, that's something that we've been dealing with, you know, let's be honest, for the last 20 plus years, but really accelerated during COVID. So, we, we also took the opportunity to make a lot of business decisions and difficult business decisions. So we come out of it stronger. I think the challenge has been we didn't expect to come out of COVID and come into, you know, inflation, you know, the Russia-Ukraine war, yeah. you know, invasion. But, you know, you have to take the world, the world as it is really, don't you, Shabani, and do, and do what you can. Yes, absolutely. And uh, I wanted to ask you, actually, what are the key concerns raised by, uh, you know, some of your agency leaders? Because we are going through wars, recessionary headwinds. Uh, how is all of this impacting the business? And what are the concerns raised by the agency heads within the WPP ecosystem? You know, look, our agency leaders, and I know you interviewed Devika recently, they, you know, they're, they're focused on doing a great job for their clients, delivering fantastic creative work, helping them, you know, grow their businesses, uh, sell on e-commerce, build relationships with customers, manage their reputation, communicate what they're doing. I think leading their people through through difficult times. So, look, I don't think there's any particular concerns our, 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 our leaders have. They're doing a, a great job. And uh, it demonstrates the importance of what we do uh, as an industry for our clients, I think. And what are the client concerns? How are they reacting uh, to these uncertain times, Mark? You know, I, I talk to clients a lot, as you can imagine, about, about their plans for next year. And um, look, I think the key word is uncertainty. Mm. You know, we, we had our, our results a couple of weeks ago and I said on our on our earnings call, look, I think... There, there are very few clients, I think, that are sort of catastrophizing the situation for next year. Mm. I think most clients are looking to support their brands. I think a lot of clients are dealing in an inflationary environment where they're trying to support, you know, price increases. And so marketing becomes, you know, more important than that. They're looking to innovate, to be on the side of consumers. So they have to communicate with their with their customers you know at the same time you know they face headwinds around the world so i think that um you know uncertainty is the is the is the name of the game if you like and we have to be agile as an organization and help our clients react and we have to react to things as as they as they unfold you know opinions on a us recession differ you know goldman sachs have it at 35% chance of a recession in the US. Most other people have it more like 75%. Um, so I've slightly sort of given up trying to predict the future. <laughs> 
focus my efforts on or how do we respond more quickly to be honest yeah but i do have a predictive uh, question for you towards the end of the conversation but let me first ask you uh class well, who's going to win the world cup i hope <laughs> no beyond that uh, of course and that is also a question on top of all of the football fans mind uh, but mark my question to you uh, is they the clients might be saying something but behaving differently and are there any changes that you see in their behavior uh, about let's say even media spends or advertising spends or uh, when it comes to hiring are you observing any changes over there i do, look i think one of the one of the interesting things has been this sort of analog digital split uh, th there's no doubt that covid accelerated the transition to more digital marketing but actually as you've seen this year you know the growth has been a little bit slower in, in digital media i mean the irony is that wpp and our sort of holding company or agency peers actually grew more quickly in the first six months of the year hmm. than the average google meta snap and twitter now if you said to me five years ago we you know we would grow our top line fast enough companies i wouldn't have believed you hmm. now Look, no doubt they're coming off a very strong base of growth, but I think it demonstrates the value of what we do, the resilience of our business model, the fact that we tend to work with larger companies and they tend to have, a, you know, they work with large companies, but they have a, this whole long base of small and medium sized businesses and micro entrepreneurs and, and all of that. A lot of VC funded startup money has been going into marketing on uh, crypto and we've seen, uh, haven't we recently, some of the risks in, involved in that. Hmm. So. I think that um, I wouldn't say there's a I wouldn't say there's money being pushed back to traditional media, mm. but I certainly think that uh, like everything in life, it's a balance. And just as our consumers live in a world where they consume you know, digital media and, and and traditional media, that that's where our clients are looking to to spend. Now, you know, you talked about hiring. Look, I think clients are still looking to support their brands. I don't think a lot of clients are looking to add fixed cost, hmm. to be honest. You hmm. see in the in the platforms, actually people taking a lot of fixed cost out of businesses that are perhaps, you know, over invested in headcount over the last two to three years. All four advertising holding companies have raised their forecast for, uh, you know, the coming month. So are you suggesting that uh, these uh, holding companies are unscathed out of you know this digital market troubles no, no i wouldn't say that i don't think we're unscathed i think the reality is that wpp isn't just an advertising company anymore and i think that's what people need to understand you hmm. know we're helping clients through public relations public affairs to manage their reputation we're helping clients you know build uh, mobile applications we're helping them develop e-commerce sites we're helping them answer questions like how do i sell through amazon hmm. so lots of things that aren't just related to uh, advertising on its own. So I think it reflects the, the breadth of our business, the resilience of our business model. And I think a little bit, as you say, the balance that we have by client, uh, by geography, uh, and and across and across all media as well. Hmm. Okay. And uh, what's uh, what's the scene on the new business front? Are pitches happening as they used to prior to the pandemic? Do we expect more pitches in 2023, the large scale ones? Well, look, I mean, we took part in the in the coat pitch. I think probably the biggest review in our industry's history. Hmm. I think we did close to 150 meetings, all of them uh, remotely, all of them on video. So my observation would be first, um, you know, the, the new business pipeline we have now is as strong as it was a year ago. If anything, just marginally stronger. Hmm. Uh, pictures are going back in person. Uh, so I'm a little bit I'm a little bit disappointed by that. I'd, I I like the fact that we were working and pitching remotely. Hmm. Uh, it, it saves a lot of money in airfares and was good for the planet as well. And I was talking to a to a colleague who's over in on the west coast of America, and quite a few people have flown in for that meeting. So I'd like us to make sure we continue to use the sort of hybrid model of of pitching as well. Um, I think that's you know that's the way the way forward for our, for our industry. Um, but no, pitching is busy. You know the Coke pitch. You know I think they they said they started maybe with six thousand agencies. So there are there are big pitches underway. Um, mm. May not. They may not all be all be public, but I think it's going to be a busy end of the year, and and I think a busy 2023. Yeah, and uh, Mark, as uh, you know, the interest rates keep rising faster than expected. Uh, 
are you concerned or worried about the weeks to come? Yeah, I mean, look, that is my concern. I mean, my concern is um, uh, I was just about old enough to remember the 1970s. Um, you know, in, inflation is a tough beast to wrestle with. Hmm. And uh, typically, um, you know, interest rates need to go up further than people expect to get it under control. So I think that is the challenge that we're going to face is how high will rates have to go up, you know, and, you know, there are countervailing forces, you know, in the US, you saw uh, interest in, inflation coming just under expectations, all of a sudden, the stock market's up 5%. Everyone thinks the problem is solved. Hmm. And then you get more pressure on inflation because people think they can put price. So it's, it's a tough thing, I think, for policymakers to, uh, to to wrestle with. So I think we're cautious about the trajectory of, of interest rates. And I think that's going to be uh, the thing we're going to have to watch o over the next year. Yeah. And how is this entire situation over the past few months that has unfolded in the UK, whether it is, uh, you know, financial or political instability impacted WPP, which is headquartered there? Yeah, look, we're a, we're a global company that's proud to have our head office in London is the way hmm. I, I think about it. Um, so, look, the instability hasn't really affected us. It doesn't make me feel particularly proud of uh, our, of our political system. But I feel that now we have uh, a new prime minister of, of Indian origins, which is fantastic. Um, I, I think he's getting to grips with the, the challenges ahead. And, the, you know, the, the, the fiscal plan is going to be laid out, you know, over the next couple of days, I think will be conservative. And I think it's going to require, you know, quite a lot of pain, unfortunately, across across you know, quite a large parts of um, society, all across society, they've said, you know, everyone should expect tax increases. Yeah. But I but I do think that we'll get to a more stable situation. And then from that, we can then we can then build real back. OK, so from Prime Minister of Indian origin to the India market, uh, can yeah. you uh, give some insights on uh, the India market? I believe it's one of your top five markets for WPP. So what excites you about the India market, uh, Mark? Well, look, I, look, I mean, fir firstly, I love India. And uh, actually, our last meeting as an executive team before the pandemic was in was in Mumbai. And I'm looking forward to coming back uh, next year. I might even come on a family vacation as well. I, I think that you know, we have 11,500 people in the market. We have a great position in the market. Um, in, in Srini, we have a really strong leader for our business, but we have strong people across our businesses, fantastic creative leaders like Piyush. Uh, and you know, the work we do for clients is so impactful. I mean, I could go through the reasons to be proud. I mean, recently our foundation in India, and I, I visited it, one of the schools it funds, the last time I was there, you know, was, it, was awarded uh, an award, uh, the best um, the best CR, CSR foundation in, in the country. We're all tremendously proud of that. We're tremendously proud of the work that we do uh, for for our clients. The work we did for Mondelez in India won a Titanium hmm. Award in Cannes. So that's one of the most prestigious awards uh, in our industry, a collaboration between you know, Ogilvy and Wavemaker. It really shows. And what was interesting is it was an application of AI hmm. you know, to marketing. So we're showing how you know, the conversation of, combination of creativity and data and technology can produce fantastic ideas that can win on a world stage. Uh, our, our business, in is, interestingly, is 80% domestic. So many foreign companies that operate uh, in India hmm. are serving a multinational world. We're not. We're serving uh, multinational companies in India and many, many, many domestic companies in India. Hmm. And 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 that's fantastic as well. Look, I've learned um, a lot from many of the Indian business leaders. I've been lucky to meet uh, Sanjeev Mehta for several occasions when I've been in the market. And he's been a fantastic client to us. Hmm. And I think there's a tremendous amount we can learn from him and Indian business leaders as well. So look, I think the, the, the economic outlook for India is strong. It's probably been our best, it's been our best performing market globally for the last 10 years and I think it's now our fifth or sixth biggest market in WPP and you know if you said to me one day will it overtake the UK it, would, it wouldn't it wouldn't surprise me let's hope that happens it is time for a short break my conversation with Mark Reed continues we have a lot more to discuss you don't go anywhere we will be right back